The Minecraft oof sound effect is officially retired. Somebody bullied me in the comments and now I'm not going to do it anymore. Nobody gets an oof. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stop saying it. I, I mean, I say it in real life. It's just my, it's just part of my lexicon. But now all the fun is gone. That's what I look like in real life. You thought that was a dryad? Nope. Face cam. Fellow adventurers, today I come to you all with some news. The first thing I've updated the mod pack and made a, a whole bunch of fixes. So many bug fixes. And more importantly, today I am assuming direct control of this series. Things have been chaos. Just pure chaos for two episodes in a row. Today, I am reluctantly going to be big brain and sensible. We're going to upgrade our people one by one. We're going to make sure their powers are all in line. And we're not going to take on raids that are far too hard. Uh, so anyway, I've sent a shirtless man up to the Arctic to go and fist fight a legendary toxic troll. Oh, poor sweet legendary Udafrichter, you fight. Grigna Grignison himself. Jump to locations so it shows me it on the world map. That's already helpful. You fight Grigna Grignison. My god, it's enormous. So... Powerful. I think there's only one thing we can do about this one, Grigna Grignison. Drink your beer. Ah, uh, like, drink it faster, though? No, oh, God. Oh, God, Grigna, it's so ravenous. He's done. He is complete now. We engage. Uh, someone said use this one instead of the other attack because the other is double speed, but this one is double damage. So we're going to... I mean, double speed is kind of double damage if you don't take into account, you know, hit chance and all those other things. Kill! A legendary fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have defeated the afflicted troll and what a battle it was. Legends will be sung of Grigna Grignison who fought for 48 days and 48 nights solidly against the Udafrichter. Only to get a reward worth 4,700. Sadly, the reward that I chose though was a <laughs> magic log. Well, we might as well on the way back, I suppose, get that get that item. Oh, now, I think I'm probably spreading everything a little bit too wide. I... <laughs> Probably poor phrasing on that one, I will admit. I'm spreading our resources, our arcane gear, our quests, our anima grass, just way too thin. I'm trying to build up nine people simultaneously, then I'm wondering why everybody is equally as terrible. Lyric, Scooty, Gunty, take priority. I'm sorry. Pierce, Irina, and Exy, you're going into training. You're going into training until I'm happy that Lyric, Scooty, and Gunty are done. So you're going to hand over your mask. There we go. Now you're looking a little more necromantic rather than just another guy in armor. Now what I want to do on this subject of guys in armor is I want to sort out this stockpile. It's a bit of a mess. We can open all the treasure chests. That'd be fun. There's so many treasure chests to open. Oh, I suppose we did do quite a few quests with that, didn't we? Right, so let's shrink this down. What I actually want to do here is build some shelves. Fill some shelves with enchanted rings. Fill some with enchanted necklaces. Some with enchanted gear. Brigna, what are you doing? Ooh, what did that say? Did I see that right? Did that say Amethyst? Oh, no, that's quite a lot of people. Did that say Amethyst Warhammer? Grigna's already on it. This man can't be stopped. I'm going to get you to... Can you auto cast that? No, but well, that's all right. That's all right. I can I can do that. There you go. And then we'll auto cast that one instead. Hello. <laughs> I do love the insta kills with that power. It lowers the cooldown by 10 seconds each time you use it as well or, or something like that, right? Oh, their numbers will count for nothing. Oh, God, my carbuncle. What is going on with this carbuncle? Leave it alone. Thing again. It's happening again. I just can't stop it. I'm trying to do quests. Oh, Grigna. Oh, Grigna. What have you done? Miraculously, he's totally fine. He beat them all. Leading out in 22 hours. Okay, that is a bit more of a concern. Um, let's go ahead and open that one up. There you are. Hello. What have you got for me? Oh. Oh. Iron two-handed flange base. It's purple. That's like a specific uh, faction type. Walnut Morning Star. That's fun. It's got an engraving on it. But look at this thing. Metal Vein Amethyst Warhammer. That's so nice. What have you... What, what the hell are those enchantments, though? Uh, Minor Magic Blast. Enchanted with battle magic. This weapon can sometimes unleash a weak blast of magical enemy... Oh, of energy on enemy contact. Wow. Magical Warrior's Shield. Enchanted with a higher battle magic, this weapon projects a powerful bubble of magical energy that shields the user from danger. Oh, but he has proficiency for battle axes. It gives him 50% of the hit chance. But I feel like this might outweigh it. Oh. Oh, and he gets a little magic shield. He's got a big old pike. We've got a very fancy crossbow there too. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. They managed to hit him in the kidney with a great axe and then stab him through the heart with a boar spear. As long as we can patch those up, he's not in any risk. Oh, yeah, he's going to be totally fine. Now, if you remember, there was a big debate in the comments about people asking, 
whether or not it should be Baby Grignison that gets the uh, the Persona log, or whether or not we give it to the enormous Pigman. Did we look at the Persona log? I'm pretty sure we saw that it was it was nuts. There it is again, if you want to pause and read through that. Now, I think we give Jeb the log, because it'll help balance him out pretty well. It's a pretty crazy good item, and he's a pretty terrible character. So that'll balance out really nicely, but then we can give Grignus Battle Axe, the Blue Rose, that of course he named himself. We give that to Baby Grignison. And it could become a, a, a family heirloom. So we're going to send Jeb and Phil over there because there's a couple of things I want to get for both of them. Jeb gets the log that will bond to him and hopefully will fix a lot of his stuff that he's got going on there. And then next time the inn burns down, he won't be wandering around trying to drink alcohol. Then for Phil, I've swapped out uh, one of the magic rings that we had before. How are we doing, Grigna? You're holding out 20 hours. Now, bear in mind that that 20 hours you take with a grain of salt, that'll be 20 hours for a regular person. But Grigner is no regular person. He is a member of House Grignus, and he has that fast wound healing. Oh, little carbuncle, I'm so sorry. It was the dragon, then it was the dare, now it was trolls. They were, you were doomed. <laughs> I think you were fated. People were saying that for bones. What happened to bones? Oh, okay, well, that's fine. She just got gored in the head by a guinea pig. Very normal things to happen. People were saying that the rock golem power is actually really really great because it can go around and clean for us the one thing we're missing here um the only problem is i don't think we've actually got any stone chunks on this map in theory if i wasn't lied to by the person in the comment section on yesterday's video we should be able to do something like that and get ourselves and a cleaner for the inn ah oh! hey look at that apparently they can also haul things too oh that's massive Tommy has a, he a fenrir hunt oh don't tell greg of that oh my god the man's barely survived you're offering us more ancient notes 150 to go kill an enormous deadly wolf. Now, Scooty really needs some range gear, right? Not only do they have a passion for archery, and their archery level's pretty damn high, but they're also all about summoning eyeballs, increasing their vision. Uh, to the extent that we can also blast you with your... Ah, oh, legendary armaments, nice. We can also blast you with ocular eruption and give you more eyes, right? I might regret this. Oh! Malevolent eye. Needs tending now. Oh, no! Wait, What? Without treatment, it will cause rotting of the local tissue. It will allow the... Oh, no! Wait, what? I thought it would let him see better. All you've done is potentially kill the poor guy. <laughs> Stupid warlock moron. How could you bamboozle me like this? What was the power? Ocular eruption. These eyes will provide the afflicted with extra sight. However, using this spell on a friendly target is risky. It's a useful strategy, assuming they can be treated and removed afterwards. Oh, it's not like a permanent thing. You'll just give yourself a few more eyes. They will actually... Horribly kill you. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, Rita, could you maybe go and save Scooty's life? You made a bit of a mistake. Oh, now he has boob eye. Silly me, I made a pact with an eldritch entity and accidentally covered myself in a bunch of malevolent eyeballs. These things happen. It's a learning experience, isn't it? And that's what they're here to do today. They're here to learn so they can be better prepared for their next adventure. Be glad I did that there rather than in the middle of a ruin. I think that Gunty isn't really doing much for the party right now. So Gunty's going to get a couple of upgrades. So we're going to get eight additional anima grass. We've got 37 currently. So we should be able to do two from this pretty quickly. What's, what's happening? What's going on over here, huh? Seems as if there's an enormous dragon eating even more enormous bees. Bo Bo beanies. So Rita, Rita, very fast. I need you to go over here. Tame a dragon, and while you're there, tame a bee. But it's a petting zoo, it's a petting zoo. Also, it turns out, us, big brain play for the future, Grigna is faster leaving a tile setting up camp and tending himself than he is staying on the tile and trying to tend himself. I guess it's just automated on, on caravans or in camps much faster? I don't understand why that would be, but certainly did tend it a lot quicker. Immediately going to give Gunty another level after that. Hopefully, we're going to get some... I haven't even checked the higher level powers because, again, it's kind of relevant until we get the arcane load, right? Or at least some more magic gear. Consume bodies. Permanently stacking buffer to the arcane load. What? Permanently stacking buffer to the arcane load. So we eat bodies and you become permanently more powerful. Unlike Phil, that's kind of a temporary thing. Honestly, I'm really after the resurrect power because that sounds very useful given how, um... I will admit, reckless I've been with some of these quests. Oh, shit. Well... Okay, this might be the last upgrade I give to you then, because then you could just upgrade yourself going forward. Oh, don't eat the bees, please. I want to be. I want to be as a friend. Uh, tame dragon. Go. Okay. Fortisax, a purple dragon. Age 1,263. Amazing. Then, as soon as that's off cooldown... Oh, you can do it twice in a row now. That's good. Um, which of these bees is the most impressive? That one's got horns. Uh, very large horns, too. Yeah, yeah, let's get that one. <laughs> People are going to come and visit our inn from far and wide. 
just to see the very exotic animals. I don't think we've got to worry about this incoming under attack again with two dragons. Two dragons, a bee, and Geob, the enormous pig innkeeper with uh, a magic log. I don't know what's going on. Animatory linking complete. There we are. Gunty, this one is for you. Perfect. I think you're in a good place now. I feel a bit more confident about sending you out there. Hopefully that will be... I imagine it's not going to be a massive buff, but it's certainly going to stack up. I wish I'd have got that sooner because we could have eaten all those imps yesterday. That is presuming that <laughs> Scooty survives. Um, Rita, do we have any medicine here? You want to take some medicine back with you. How's Grigna doing? 0.4 days till he's home. He's totally healthy. I'm going to worry about Grigna dying. Yeah, give me that medicine. Send Rita back with the whole lot of it. Go on, take your, take your chocobo home. My little guy doesn't seem to be doing a good job of cleaning things up. He's just kind of wandering around at this stage. Oh, I see, so it won't work like constantly non-stop. I suppose that would make things a bit more trivial. I guess we could. Does that add, so that adds a permanent 20 arcane load because you've got you've got a friend. We could just enchant another chunk. I did I did send them over with, with multiple chunks. We just do that. Can we have two at once? And one. Where did the other guy go? Yeah, it certainly seems like we can. Rock construct one and then rock construct two is out there working somewhere, but definitely is still alive. There it is. We have two rock constructs, but what about a third? There you go. And it's practically going to run itself at this point. Now, I do want to use... Oh, that was another great suggestion I saw in the comments yesterday. Somebody said you can use the arcane ring to craft an arcane ring, and with that, you store a power, right? But you can craft an arcane ring of arcane ring. As in, it's a ring that gives people the power to make other arcane rings of their own power. Does that make sense? Oh, Grigna arrived at the Silly Goose. Hey, there you go. Got to go see his wife and child, I presume. Or, he's going to go drop the treasure off, which is also completely fine. Oh, we can give Blue Rose to little baby Grignison. You're a little, little young to equip it, I suppose, but you do actually have that. You do actually have the aptitude for it. Ah, oh, reunited. Oh, when you're done with the baby, could you please tend to Grigna, though? He didn't, <laughs> he didn't do a very good job. Um, oh. Well, that might be an understatement. In fact, I'm not even sure he's done anything. Smeared mud in it and walked away. Got an Ashlander Forge. Oh, that could make some interesting gear. I don't think we've got any research for that specifically yet, but I'll, I'll happily throw one of those down. Another thing I want to do for the end then before we focus back on our people. We're going to let Grigna rest. Phil and Rita can take the day off as far as I'm concerned. They've done a lot of adventuring. I think they need a bit of a break. What is it with these animals? What is it with these animals? Tend this Lind one. Can you tend... Oh, we can't, we can't tame it. Um... Shoot the lind one. Is the chocobo fine? Chocobo's fine. Okay, we're fine. We're every everything's okay. I'm not losing any more bloody mounts. Otherwise, we're going to start riding out there on dragons. Well, now that I say that out loud, that doesn't really sound so bad, does it? I'll finish it off this time. We've got too much livestock here to allow enormous snakes to be running around. What? A warrant has been placed on our colonists for poaching? Wait, what? What, are they like a protected species? X is now a wanted criminal. I can't believe you've done this. Who? Why? The Crusaders of Light have put a bounty on us. I guess that must be a holy animal to them. 4,000 silver. Oh, good. That's fine. Unfortunately, our, our quote-unquote party healer, our moral guide, she's just not cut out for the job. I mean, a persuasion of 0.49, I knew she was terrible, but I wanted to give her a, a chance in the limelight. All of our original characters have something really defining about them. Bones is basically in charge. Grigner is... Well, Grigner, I don't need to talk about that. And Philly's brains and is also... Amazing, like like a, a sleeper hit. Rita, though, she fires arrows very fast. Well, she doesn't even do that. She, she can see new people to fire arrows at very fast and then proceeds to fire them slightly faster than average. But unfortunately, it's an enormous frustration having so many people with different ideologies, especially given that the ideology they happen to be hates going out on adventure, which is undermining the whole series. So what I'm going to do temporarily, maybe Rita will find her place elsewhere. Oh, you're cool. I think Phil should become... I think Phil should become the new the, the new social manager, the new HR. I think we also need to change it from party healer to uh, like like party morale manager. There may be a better word for that. Tell you what, Rita, I'll make you a deal. You allow Phil to take over position as the as the new role of loyalty enforcer. Bear in mind we're giving all these party members full access to our vault that contains hundreds of thousands of treasure. Well, maybe not hundreds of thousands, but a lot of treasure. In return, I will promise Rita that she will get the first of the custom skill trees. I'm going to make the healer tree first. As soon as I find time, I've got a lot of stuff going on in real life. Rita's a loyalty enforcer. What? A... <laughs> Rita's a loyalty enforcer. It's Bogti and her 
and her whatever dish she was making all over again. Uh, that's fine. That's good. And then we've got to... I think it's still on cooldown. It's on cooldown for a while. But with a massive persuasion skill that Phil has, money, he was a bard before he became a, a, a brain exploder. I like the idea he just sings so loudly their brains explode. You know, probably because he has the pick of destiny or something like that. Now he can use his bardly skills. He can go back to his roots and help convince people, yes, you shouldn't steal from our vault. I forgot we had that legendary short bow. Hello. Uh, weapon mastery. Oh, it's bones is mastery. Damn. I mean, there's no reason we couldn't give it to someone else. It just means it's minus 2% aiming time with bones, as we've seen from what Reese is wearing. That's pretty much pointless, right? As, like, non-existent. So I'm going to drop that big hammer for you. We'll make sure we put that on shelf in a minute. And you can have this short bow as your, as your primary weapon instead, given that you've got an archery. And again, you're all about eyeballs, for better or worse. I think we need to go and eat some people. I think Gunty's got quite the appetite that only human beings can satisfy. <laughs> I want to attack the gold mining site, but I feel like just sending the three of them is probably going to get them killed. I mean, Scooty's already got that handled anyway. So I'm going to send everybody. I'm just going to send everybody besides uh, McCall, Rita, and Scooty for hopefully obvious reasons. We're going to send the Chocobo. We're going to send uh, the Thrombo as well. Why not? Oh, shit. What if we send the elephant? 67 tiles a day. Oh, that'll do it. That way, if we do, for example, need to make a hasty retreat, we've got it covered. <laughs> then back at the inn, I'm going to get Rita to, uh, in between looking after men. How's man doing? Extreme blood rot. Uh, 10 quality, 69%. Ooh, you should be fine. I feel like because we went a while without tending it, it, it grew quite significantly, but it should drop down. How long until we're kicking you out? Because you are very annoying. Um... Prisoner, prisoner, prisoner. What indulgent prisoner? There we are. Uh, seven days. Are you going to die of blood rot in seven days? Probably, if we're not careful. How's Scooty doing? Uh, Scooty's actually going to be fine. Yeah, I, I feel like bringing that medicine over was a good idea. Now, what I want to get Rita to do is crack open some boxes. I feel like this is this is finally the moment. Get me some gear. Because if we get the gear before they leave, what the hell is that? An enormous dragon statue. That's cool. Chitin Ash Mask. Um... I lowers archery accuracy, but it does give 40% toxic resistance. Do you have a melee character that could take that? Maybe Pierce? Doesn't really suit her, though, does it? Gonna re-equip all the other people with some of the gear that we've got. Ooh. Was that more... Oh, my God. We got a little bit of treasure. More stuff. We've got so much stuff I can barely keep up with what we're actually getting out of these boxes. Come on. Show me some... Oh, God. Show me some armor. Uh, we've got a couple of gold chests down here. I think these are the best rewards you can get, right? Or second best. And nothing. Totally nothing. Oh, there you are. All coming out of the same building like a bloody clown car. I think this will be enough. There's only six of our people, but that's a that's a powerful six, right? Where do we fight them? Do we fight them on the beaches? Try and bait them over from there? Well, Phil will bring them over. Get him, Phil. Oh, Phil actually changed your weapon. Oh, that might not be a good chain bolt. I think it hit people inside the building. No, that could be all right. Okay, let's, let's fight them on the beach. Because then it'll be slower getting over to us. Oh! Oh my god! Uh, and there might be a slight fire issue I'm somewhat concerned about. Uh, bunch up. Bunch up. Don't bunch up too much. Just bunch up enough so that we can try and do something like that. That works fine. Hey, you back off. Phil, try and get there. Oh, trees! What the hell are the trees doing? They, they're, they're just trees, right? They just exist to... To be there? <laughs> Don't think it affects our people in any way. Hey, of course! Summon the goose. Bring in the goose. Sweet Phil. Oh, Phil's taken an early few blows there. I mean, Phil is so vulnerable. Phil is so vulnerable, but Pierce is just shredding them like they're nothing. Oh my god. Area is safe. We can reform the caravan. Step back, step back. Don't fight any others. Oh! Or oh, light everybody on fire. That's what I meant to say. Oh, my goose! How could you do this? How could you do this? Phil, avenge the goose. Heavy psychic slug. Oh, in fact, we could move Phil over permanently to the heavy psychic slug. He's got enough load now. Yes, that's what you get. They're exactly in. All right, doctor, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be totally okay. Wow. I'm kind of surprised. Monkey, hello. Well, Phil, this was, you were, you were party leader here. This was your expedition, though it won't go on the high scores because, of course, it was, uh, it was a party of six rather than a party of three. 241 gold. Was that worth almost getting our people killed? Probably not. Oh, yep, yeah, I don't think that was worth it at all. Look, these are all trainees. They're all new recruits. They're all new recruits. This was a very impressive showing for... Oh, my thrombo. Oh, you're fine. You're just sleeping. Goose didn't last very long, though. Because he's bleeding out in 18, but you can at least stand. And then you can be tended when we're actually on the road as well. So it's not really a big deal. 21. 
I think you'll be alright, but I'll wait until the bleeding is non-lethal. With that, that's 25 quests complete. Turns out the caravan was actually only worth 10,000. Now, for non-resource quests, for the, for the glory and for the loot, we're, we're going to limit it always to three people. But when it comes to the resources, which we desperately need, I don't think we can afford to be taking gambles with that, given that it's the only way to actually get resources into the colony. That, I'm relying on the occasional trade caravans that sell really just crappy weapons. Oh! Colonist Grigna's long-term happiness is now convincing that life is pretty good. They're now an optimist. Oh, that's amazing news. Phil, unfortunately, I'm going to have to set back up as the loyalty enforcer because there's a very annoying bug right now where you can't reform people into caravans who've been hit by certain psychic powers. I don't exactly know what's causing it. I think it's vanilla sidecasting specific. It's nothing to do with the mod pack. Now we're going to hit you with... <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god, Phil. Once every three days, we can convert these people over. Holy crap, we'll have another squad out there in no time. Siric is converted. We've still got to sort out uh, Scooty, Gunty, Pierce, Irene, her, and Exy, and probably McCall as well. Yep, shocker. But one day, we'll have a proper adventurous guild on our hands. Wow. Arcane mask worn by Phil the Brain Eater has deteriorated away. Oh. Send a message to the Trading Alliance. Then we ask them to send us a trade caravan. Arcane Trader. A new trade caravan will arrive within a few days. Lately, I've had a lot on my mind, Gregner. Mostly about the link between sexuality and extremism. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, Zarek. It's a gamer moment. In the background of all this excitement, our people have been hard at work not only rearranging the castles to have a proper, real stockpile, dedicated cabinets for each weapon type, melee, persona, ranged, arcane, named weapons, different types of gear, so we've got dedicated armor, dedicated arcane gear. Of course, the standard stockpile stuff is going on here too. Then over at the inn, they've been as busy as they can be. I mean, Bones is a little bit distracted. Oh, yep, there she goes again. I'll have to see a little baby Grignison. In the background, she has been able to build a pretty impressive free in. This is just going to allow people to stop here without paying anything. And then this one over here, what the hell are you doing to my tree? This one over here is, of course, the one that we're charging for, the slightly nicer in. Also noticed we've got a whopping 95 anima grass, all of which I'm saving up to give to either Sirit, Scooty, Gunty, really push them through to that final. Oh my god, I forgot to do the... <laughs> I have, I, have, I have a lot of memory problems, okay? If you bully me for that, you are bullying a disadvantaged individual. I'm going to send uh, Sarah Gunty Scooty and Gregna and Phil just enough to get the uh, just enough to get the full anima grass and the ritual over to the inn. And then I'm going to give all of that to Gunty, who I promised a bunch of corpses to eat and then didn't. And then didn't. The real victory I very carefully concealed. Not that carefully. Above our stockpile here in Castle Onionis is a vault. A proper vault filled with all of our treasure. Right now, it's just kind of a copious amount of dice and tableware. We're going to start work on a cleaning bench, and then someone's going to volunteer to clean all of this abundant amount of tableware and skulls. And I think one of the final goals of the campaign, of course, will be to get one of everything. One ruby skull, one emerald skull, one sapphire skull, etc., etc. Sorry, Gunty. Okay, I forgot about the corpses. A lot of my mind right now. One linking is complete. Two linkings are complete. Four. Oh, more linkings. Power, Gunty. The power you will get. It's an apology power-up, I will admit. Another. Give me another. I know what you're thinking. Perhaps one final link? But you, my friends, you would be so very wrong. It will never end. We will never stop linkings. Oh, okay, well now we now we have to, because I've used up all the anima grass. All of it channeled into one little necromancer. Have I made a horrible mistake here? Maybe. Seven levels, oh my god. Um, sure. There you go. Then we start upgrading the base stats. 232 arcane loader right off the bat there. Not to mention, of course, every time we level it up, it is cheaper. 96% mana cost for that now. Magical aptitude, 128%. Oh my god. Meditation mana gain a day. 90% a day is nuts. You can resurrect by sacrificing a natural finger. The caster is able to transfer their own life energy into a target. Resurrect someone else by sacrificing a finger. Oh, that's crazy. That's really good. Then we've got death shield. They can't die. If they were to die, they are just saved. And then we have Enthrall. Magically strips the deceased target life force and infuses it directly into their bones, animating them for a full day. Ooh. The only remaining instinct is to inflict pain on the caster's enemies. That is the, the, the combat power that I was really hoping we'd get because a lot of these abilities, of course, are 
our utility. Sadly for Gunty, though, Phil does take priority. But you can have this cool mask, and I think that looks a bit more necromancer than what you had before. We have another afflicted troll, and Grigna's proven himself to be quite the troll expert at this point. But look, they've got something called time. Uh, an enchanted sapphire ring. It does damage, so I presume... Shields cannot be used along with this weapon as they interfere with the magical energies. Does not drop on down or death. Oh. It's, it's a magical ring where you fire off magical bolts. I've got to get it. That sounds amazing. To be fair, though, so does uh, the farming spear. But I'll take that one. That sounds really good. Oh, my God. Look at the amount of quests that we've got. Look at the amount of two-star quests that we've got. Ooh, we're almost ready. I, I promise that very much soon we'll be out there in the world. I think I just need a little more. Hang on. <gasps> we can convert someone. Well, that's good enough for me. Scooty, come here. And, oh, there you go. Converted immediately. I think this is fair enough. Given that, again, the Idea Legend really doesn't make any difference to the playthrough because the Idea Legend was balanced around itself. So them not having it is just a pain in the ass. And perfect timing right at the end here. Our arcane trader. Look at it all. We got three Arcanium, an Arcane Shard, which is supposed to be uh, the, the medieval equivalent of a Neuroformer, but apparently my texture isn't working for that. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll do it live. We've got Arcanium Weaponry and a whole bunch of gear. Oh my god, I've got to try and buy all of this. Can we afford it? I'm going to have to sell so much of my damn treasure. Let's try and keep one of everything. One of everything is my kind of minimum barrier to entry, I think. Gear is temporary, but gold? Gold lasts forever. Gold lasts forever. Take this. Get it away from me. Uh, Neolithic tech. We don't need it. Get rid of it. Uh, rubies. I'll sell you a few rubies. We're going to have to... We, we might have to bring over a caravan from the other place to to get some more stuff to barter with. Although, with that gold that we picked up earlier, maybe accidentally big brain stuff. I need to buy everything. You've got three robes. I'm, t I'm taking it all. How much, how much will it cost to buy all of it, though? Oh, far more than we've got. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 11,000. Ah. I'm going to start by buying all of these. Then we send bones with as much valuable stuff as we can. Um, let's go weight price. And we're going to load up the dragon and the bow beanie. We've got loads of gold here. Oh, I can't sell all of it because we need some for crafting. Um, fine. Okay, let's do that. Medieval technology blueprint. Look, we can we can just get it. Treaties on construction. We've already got some good builders at this point. Treaties on melee. I could sell them. We could sell them. It's just skill gain, right? It's convenience now for for what will be just training. We could just we could just train them more. Is this an enormous amount of copium? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, look, we could sell them 2000 bones. That seems like a good idea. Oh my god, it's going to take ages to pack the caravan though. Oh, bones, go hurry. Be fast. Hopefully the baby won't starve to death within the 30 seconds she's gone. Go, 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 go. One more, one more, one more to load, and then we're done. Yes, that's it, that's it. Go. Bo -bo -bo Bobini, Bobini, Bobini. Drop your stuff. Drop your stuff, Bobini. I've got to sell all these bones. Oh, uh, Bobini, more like bone beanie. Oh my god, can we sell them? Oh my god, we're going to put the mask on. Oh, it looks kind of cool, but maybe we'll have to have a chat about that. Um, Where are you? Here, trade. Maybe I can just sell you what's on the floor already. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, buy some stuff. No, oh, what am I doing? Send Phil. Yes, okay, buy my things. Good, take it. Take the plasteel, take the rubies. I'll keep it ruby. Take, oh, don't take the notes. Take all these hides. Definitely don't need these bloody things. Yes. Yes, we can basically buy all of it. Oh, no, look, we're, we're short, like, 80 gold. Um, oh, dare antler. Perfect. We could buy the weapons. I totally agree. We could buy the mace, which, oh, it's really good, but it's very expensive. Um, if I sell you that, is there anything else we can liquidate? I've basically sold you everything I have. No, we can't. We can't afford it. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm good with that. Honestly, I'm, I'd say I'm pretty damn happy with that. Look at all the mage gear we've got. It's a total game changer. All these quests, all these last three days of just fanning around, trying to do quests and get whatever loot we can. This is the cash out. What a moment. Look at it all. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Okay, so Grigna, uh, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to set outfits up, aren't I? So I don't want you wearing any of the Arcanium headgear. Because that's going to interfere with your far more superior look. You know what? I don't want you wearing anything besides that polar bear hat in hindsight. Look at Phil now. Oh, Phil, you look incredible. In fact, let's get the whole squad here. I want to see what everybody's wearing. No. Big pig man. No, that's not for you. Take that off. Put the ring down too. That's a magic ring. Oh, the guild. Oh, the guild. I've rearranged things very slightly to try and give them the most sensible gear, right? 
So Rita, given that she's eventually going to be a kind of ranger druid, she has got some of that lighter gear. She's got that cape now. Instead, we're going to keep the helmet, though, because it's bug-based. Phil looks incredible. Phil has, has no improvement, as far as I'm concerned. Cyric also looks amazing. Unfortunately, I can't give Cyric any gear. Did we buy a vest from them? We did, didn't we? But that went to Phil. Oh, I can't take gear off of Phil to give to... Oh, to give to Cyric. I wonder if you could wear that shirt, because otherwise Cyric's getting no arcane bonuses. Let's see if we can put that on. The problem with wearing enormous plate mail is it's... Oh, there you go. Perfect. That's better. So, Gunty has... Is his body gone invisible? Gunty, are you okay? Uh, Gunty's got some magic gear. Grigner, of course, is butt naked. Irina has a combination of the... Uh, um, of, of the prestige plate armor that gives arcane bonuses and then the helmet. Exe has a kind of degree of stuff. I'm not sure whether I prefer... Some of them to be much more heavily armored. Especially people... We just need to buy more of the plate armor, don't we? Rather than so much mage gear. I'm happy with it. I think everybody looks incredible. In between episodes, I'll rearrange things a little bit more and see if I can get things perfect. Rangers should be wearing the lighter stuff. The stuff that won't slow them down and affect their accuracy. The mages, the offensive mages, like... um, Oh, man. Maybe Exe and Irina should be swapped over to... Uh, should be swapped over to the mage gear. They stay back and they just fire off spell after spell after spell. That could be a better play. And then Gunty, the necromancer, isn't doing so much. That could wear the heavy gear. Maybe that works better. I'm not sure. But this is what I'll experiment with between episodes. And we'll come up with a good... A good loadout. Uh, as optimal as I can get it. So tomorrow, I think it's finally time. It's not going to be crazy. We're not going to be soloing enormous three-star quests or anything like that. But we will be seeing much more potential from these people. We're going to see them actually be able to hold their own in some really dangerous scenarios rather than fairly safe quests that I have been taking them on. Between all the new mana and, and magic and arcane load we've got, not to mention, of course, all this new gear. What a squad we've got. Now I've just got to build a dying bench and sort out all this mismatched aesthetic nightmare <laughs> that we've that we've somehow made out of their wardrobes thank you for joining me today thank you for being here uh as i said the, the mod pack or i think i said anyway the mod pack has been updated so if you're playing along just don't forget to resubscribe to that reapply the configs and the uh everything else that you have to do with that and it should work perfectly it's always save compatible because i do a series on it that's generally how that works thank you to gogolus conrad mazinski cesium Bubbleshy, Chocolate Milkman, Wilson Aaron, Galaxy Wolf, Exodius, 2169, Thought Experiment, Nick Bella, Snowy, Liara Jennings, Mythomatic, Darthor, Kyle, Sean St. George, Naughty Pickers, Good Doggo, Sir Bobap, or Kansas, D. Google, Guardian Easter, Grand K, Matman, Nikki Sticks, Neil Drath, Matt Lewin, Dietz, Gwen Scallon, and Accidental King for their support over at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible as always. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm going to put up the Patreon update very soon because there is some news that I've got to talk about and kind of plans for the next couple of weeks and all sorts of weird stuff. So that's going to, uh, I'll do my kind of monthly recap video a little bit early this time just because stuff's happened. Thank you as well to Tiny Silver Boy, Bullplup, Zoastria, Septimless Miscreant, Ainsley Fairburn, Tony, Gina DeFranco, Daggett's Generally Mean, Bobby Pants, Dread94, Clinical, Q-Tip113, James Beaton, Dress Down, Panda, Ash and Soul, Lily IMP, Jelly Hayek, Ineffective Guevara, Boopa, Europala84, Rango, Jacob, Dylan, Voida, Schmeggles, <laughs> Natasm, Dr. Waffles, Carsten G, Luke the Nuke, Rice Cup, and Fatigable. Thank you for joining me. See you all tomorrow. We're doing non-stop quests.